but like when I wake up and then I feel a little bigger, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? I never seen that vein before. Or or I'm like, this was like two centimeters smaller. And we didn't talk about my thing. Short and sweet. Yeah. I always beatbox. You know, Electric Company. Y'all seen that show, PBS, Electric Company. They had the word balls. They go, and they throw it. You know what I'm saying? They had the bad guy, the... Uh, that scrambles everything. Oh, so speaking of that, the beatbox, the dude that do the beatbox, that, that just reminded me. Just me and my brother just do that all the time. We used to have beatbox battles. Not gonna lie, I think I go pretty good, but I stop. But I go crazy. Um, yeah, I'm doing something so. I'm doing something so. So, it's challenging. I tell you that. I'm, uh, I don't know what I have here. I don't like it here. I like holding it. Like, I'm an anchor man. Um, it's my little cousin's birthday. And, you know, I'm a college student. So, el dinero is no mucho, no tango mucho. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? I gotta, I wanna paint and I gotta film anyways. And then I'm like, he probably won't appreciate it as of right now, maybe. But, you know, I'm painting him something. Uh, he liked Spider Man. And I picked the ugliest colors ever to put together to make the background to challenge myself. And, you know, that's perfect to challenge myself on someone's gift. You know, that's something, you know, and then I have to, I have to finish it by tomorrow. And I'm out here like, and it's going to piss me off. But, you know, what? I'm going to let art be art, you know. Don't try to make it perfect. I'm going to let it be my thing. And, and he can be like, Thanks. I already see. Like, I've, it's it's either he's gonna be like, "Oh, snap, cool," or he's gonna be like, "Cool." You know what I'm saying? But you know, who knows? Uh, when I was a kid, like, I only like I like getting clothes, and ki kids don't like getting clothes. But I only like getting clothes if they matched like my brothers, my older brothers. Like, if it had something to do with skating or something, like I see something they wear, I take it. I'm like, "Oh, skateboard!" Like, you know, that's because like the older brother. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so hopefully, you know. Cause I am trying. This thing is hard. Cause I, I don't know why I decided it. They could have been so much better, but I'm like, you know what? Let's do this. This is this was cool for a second. So you know, what's the uh the better the better time to do it is now or some something, something like that. I don't remember. I saw Valley Girl for the first time. Uh, what was the other movie? Oh, Valley Girl was pretty. It was pretty cool. Nicholas Cage. I live. Nicholas Cage lived close to us. Where well, I live, they live close. I seen him at Smith's and at Starbucks. No, my brother in law seen him at Smith's and I see him seen him at Starbucks. He had pink hair and he's Daniel Chinita. And um we locked eyes. I just turned around, I was in the line and turned around, his eyes were like his blue eyes. I was like, Oh and then I was like, Oh, it's Nicholas Cage. And I respect public privacy. I didn't want to be like, because, you know, he looked like he was having I mean, he was having a meeting or something. So. But I don't know. You know what? I don't know that's like But yeah. Making him that, so I decided to challenge myself. So we're gonna do that. But um, the main thing I wanted to talk about, main thing I want to talk about, um, is uh, discipline. Cause I I didn't know it was harder than 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 what I thought it was. If that makes sense, discipline. Yeah, cause um, a lot of people don't have it. Like, okay, I have it. I have it towards the gym. Because about 80% of the time I go to the gym, I don't want to be there, you know? Like, like it's cool, you know? Sometimes they pitch it, pump it, whatever. But, like, I don't, I don't want to go sometimes. I don't want to be there. And it's, it's cool if, like, I go with the buddies and everything and all of that. But, like, or if I haven't went in a while and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to try this new workout. Or, like, I feel it. But most of the time I don't want to go. And it just became discipline, which let me look it up. We're gonna, we're gonna find out what discipline is, because in my my uh, my uh, what is it? Like def, the definition for me is like it's no, it's no, it's not it's not motivation. It's more of like a habit, and you just do it because you have to. And I don't know if there's bad discipline. We're gonna find that out. And maybe like I don't understand why there wouldn't be. But yeah, I think I think it's just like. Discipline is no motivation. You're doing it because because I I go to the gym now because I know I have to go. It's a habit. I go, it's for my mental health. 
Now, I did gain 20 pounds, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Calm down. Keep your panties on, all right? Um, but now I just, you know, I'm just like, I had to do this because it's part of my, my mental health. And, then, you know, sometimes it's cool going with new buddies or, or the old buddies or cousins or whatever, who. And I think it's better like going with people because I think it pushes me and shows me strength that I don't know I have. And I'm just like, oh, snap. It's either like to show off a little bit or to catch up. And when I'm by myself, it's like pretty hard to push myself. Like it took me so long to, to do two squat, two plates by myself. Like I was, I could literally do it. I was just scared. And then I failed one time. Well, two times, three times, three times a time. But I failed the the first time I tried it, I failed whatever. I couldn't really do it, do it. The first time I failed when I knew I could do it, that one was like and I wake and I was like, Oh bro, I can do it. And then I could do I could do two thirty five now. I could probably do two forty five, I could tell. But I don't try to go heavy anymore. But you know what I'm saying? Discipline. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't understand like discipline's a big thing and I didn't know here. Yeah. Gotta put my glacier on, cause you know what I'm saying. Discipline. Oh, of course I spelled that correctly. Duh. Who you think I am? Discipline. Is it the practice of tr- of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. To be honest, that sounds like um like you could try and control me. Uh, to punish, to penalize, the sake. Okay, so. Uh, to obey rules, okay, so training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment. Or career. Okay, so I what did I do for to get to get, be disciplined at the gym? I think it was just punishing myself to to or to correct the um, code of behavior. I did because you know if I didn't, then I thought things that I shouldn't think towards myself. You know what I'm saying? So now I did that. And it did build confidence in a way of like body wise, but you know, I I still don't see it myself. But it, it gained my confidence in a way where like uh, gonna be like like I I feel better in my head. That's the confidence. So like a little voice in my head is like <laughs> doing that distracts me from puts that away. So it's more confident. That way, because it's not putting something in my head and going with on something. You know what I mean? But. Oh, there's three types of discipline. Hold up. Three types of dis- discipline are penitive, supportive, and corrective discipline. Uh, We're going to read that right now. Because I tell you what. So, like, I don't see that much people to be disciplined towards anything, really. Like, they say it's real hard to do stuff. Or, like, people want to post a lot. And they don't. Or if people want to. Like, it's not just gym. Like, people want to like, go to gym. They don't. Some people's like, I gotta stay consistent and all this. They're like, uh, they gotta make it a habit. Or like, they don't have the motivation. It's like, going to the, doing these things that you want to do is not, it's not the motivation to do it. It's more, it's more like making it into a discipline, into a habit. And then you get the motivation during that, if that makes sense. Like, to me, that makes sense. Like, like me doing all this art and, and videos and podcasts and everything is discipline. Now, you know, I'm, I'm out here 18, 19 episodes deep. I should really know. I think I'm 19 right now. Almost 20. What? Sick. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it became discipline to like, oh, Friday. Oh, Friday. Every time I post a video, I'm like, who who am I going to have next? Or what am I going to talk about next? And like stuff like that. Like, I need to post another video like already. I'm, I probably stress myself out like that. I Trust me, I do. Um, but like, it's not... Where was I going with this? Gosh, damn, Merrick, you talk too much. Um, so yeah, it's like I get motivation if to like if I plan it correctly or do it well. I'm like right, like I'm like, oh, this is gonna be perfect. You know what I mean? So I get that motivation, but being disciplined is just like always being like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And then like the motivation either comes from from like something new or or it's mainly something new. To be honest, like, I only could talk about the gym because that's, like, one thing I'm, like, really, really disciplined about. But, like, I get really motivated if I, I see a new work I want to try or um, buddies or, like, you know, I just wake up and I'm just, like, this is going to be a good workout. Like, I feel it, you know, so I had good sleep, good eats. And 
and this would be great. Like, I'm going to feel like a great pump, you know? Or, like, when I wake up and then I feel a little bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? i never seen that vein before. Or, or I'm like, this was, like, two centimeters smaller. And we ain't talk about my thing, you know, my pecker. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And let me see what this discipline is right here. Three times. I'm talking so much. I'm thirsty. Make sure y'all stay hydrated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. The parentative establishing classroom rules. So it's like, oh, is this for, for this is for the class? Remain uh, reminding the students of the rules every day, giving rewards for good behavior. So like a dog, basically. They say use it, but it's basically like a dog. Talking about being a dog. So you know, I never want to talk about. I don't like talk about love or all that stuff. But I always bring it up because that's all we talk about. Like that's all we think about, really. Especially people in our age. Like, I don't want to talk about it, but then, like, if you know, I bring people, it always brings it, it always comes back into the love or having someone, all this stuff, but that's just, like, human nature, you know what I mean? So, like, I can't hate on it, but I'm gonna hate on it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, a dog, I notice sometimes, female, okay, I just found out, speaking of that, uh, see, look, I be saying females, apparently, you know, I just found out that no one likes that, they don't like, uh, girls don't like that, and, and I just want to know why. People get they get people get mad at me because I say it, and and they don't really give me a good reason, because I just want to know why. I'm not saying like a good reason to not say it. Like th th a good reason is like not disrespect. Okay, I understand. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but the thing is, I just want to get behind it, because I am curious on why, and the explanations that they give me is not so so. Uh, like I just have a counterattack on it. I'm like then you guys, it's not like a good. Good argument. It's not a good explanation, but, you know, the only good explanation is, like, to not disrespect someone, because, okay, but can we, like, skip that and, like, get to the history of it, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so talking about that, dogs. So, girls be treating men like dogs. How? So, happened to me, happened to a couple people I know. So, what they do is, like, oh, you've been a... <laughs> He's like, oh, you've been good today, or like, you've been good this week, so you get coochie. Isn't that pussy's power? And y'all, y'all don't, y'all know what it is. Y'all just acting. No, 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 no. Pussy's power, because the little they, they say, um, act this way, you get some coochie, or you get some head, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, to, whatever you, you could control a man if you know how to make him bust a nut. You know what I'm saying? And he will try his best, but you know, oh, he always cheat on his. The thing is, you probably waited too long. There's two reasons. Either you take too long or you don't do it as often that he had to find where somewhere else to bust a nut. Or he just like a real dog and he just want to bust a nut with multiple, you know, he just want to put a pecker in a bunch of holes. You know what I'm saying? And human nature, I guess. You know, like it's not something. Uh, it, there's so much explanation. There's so, so much reasoning for that. Um, but. Dogs, yeah, that's what that's what preventative discipline is. You keep repeating it over and over. You give them rewards, and there's gonna be some bad bad consequences if you don't do it right. So no coochie, no busting. But you know, a dog, he'd be like, oh, then let me get someone else. Or, you know, just behave and just. You, you got sometimes you gotta give them a little treat sometimes multiple times. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to supportive discipline. Uh, measures taken when classroom rules are broken. Uh, teacher and uh, comes in a reaction. Is, okay, reminds the students of rules. Verbal warning. This is uh, this is this is not what I want. This is about classrooms and teachers being a good teacher. It doesn't sound like it. Oh, dude, I was watching uh, another podcast and it had that science dude. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? I gotta look up his name. Uh, not Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, um, science guy. He's a black dude. Science guy, black. He's like the cosmos. He's a uh, uh, astro astronomist. Damn, dude, I can't. Uh, let me remember his name. Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson. Neil Tyson. Y'all know who he is, man. So, well, he, he wrote that book. I gotta get that book because that book is amazing. Because it's like. He was talking about it in the podcast. Great book, great facts. And it's just like, it's just good. You know, it answers like sometimes like 
my ignorance, you know, it kind of answered my ignorance and like opened up my mind into like, okay, you know, that's fair. You know, like I, it's, it's all my perspective, of course. And like, I knew this, but then I kind of just blocked with my ignorance and then now it opened it and I'm just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? All right. And, and it was a lot of things. It was just like, um, here, let me see his book. What is it called? I think this is a book right here. Story Messenger, Cosmic Perspectives on Civilization. 4.2, Goodreads. Yeah, so, uh, speaking of that, and, and I was listening to that, and it was just so, so good. It was good. Like, he, like I want to read it. I got to get it. How much is it? You know what? I'll wait. <laughs> um... Yeah, and it's just, I feel like that book would just help me more with uh, uh, being kind-hearted or something. I don't know. Or being open-minded or something. I don't know. Because, like, I believe I am, <coughs> excuse me, apologize, that, um, you know, I've changed. I've, I've known. I've, I, I, I've learned a lot in the past over a year. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the mistakes I've done. Uh, learning things, uh, things being towards me. It's, you know, all this shenanigans. And it's like, I don't know. Like, it changed, I changed so much where I, it's real hard for me to be mad and hold a grudge and, and not be nice to people. Like, it really, it really is hard now. And I like that because, like, it's still stress free. Like, everyone's like human. It's like, I get real deep in it, and it's just, like, so, like, why people are so, like, it's, you're so silly, like, so childish of, like, of, like, having that type of mindset, like, very negative, and, uh, like, I think I said it before, like, I don't like when they say revenge or get my lick back or whatever, like, there's, it's just so, that's so egotistic, I don't know if that's the word, but that'd be, speaking of words, also, Neil, he showed me a new word called ossify. He used that word. He loved that word, ossify. Uh, it's like hardening the bone or something like that. Hardening like a bone or something like that. I'm going to try to use it in a sentence. Watch it. And, um, yeah, and, like, I don't, it's just that mentality is so disgusting. And it's so, like, it's real hard for me to be mean. If that may, like, like, I got to learn the boundaries to, like, what is being mean and respecting myself and i learned that and yeah just i was supposed to talk about discipline and now we are here talking about being main machine and being uh but yeah this so i've been finding out people like this is like real hard for them to do things because they're not disciplined it's like and i just try to like retrace my steps until like how did i become disciplined on the things i do and especially when I'm like so much other stuff and like it's winter break now, right? But I have to like have so much projects still. I'm still driven even though like I'm not motivated or or I don't want to do it. But I'm just like I have to do it. And let me look up bad discipline. Um, and I'm just like, is there? And uh, sorry. And it's like, I kind of don't remember how I just had the click. Well, I kind of do. Or I just had like the switch in my head where I'm just like, I want to change everything, you know? And that made me read and maybe do a lot of research and gym and, and just change who I am, but keep who I am. Does that make sense? I change, but I stay who I am. I just improve. And just do all that, you know what I mean? And yeah, and I'm just like trying to do that and like see, like I can't, you could help, like my mind says you could help everyone, but you can't fix everyone. So there's some way you could help someone and it is their choice to take your help and do something with it to change their life or whatever, to, you know? And it's not, it's not, it's not that common. It's not. I forget how, how how not easy it is, and 
one thing I want to do is like say that if you keep, I wonder if it's true because like it happens like before, like your subconscious, you keep saying like it's easy, right? And you're like, oh yeah, changing my life is easy. Um, pushing myself is easy. Like if you keep saying it over and over and over, it would technically become, right? So like I'm trying to like change my saying of where like it's oh, easier said than done, right? But like, I'm like, no, it's, it is easy. It is easy. It is easy. So much people do it. Why can't you do it? And I always had that mindset. And it's just like, now I'm going to tell people that. I'm like, it's, it's, it is easy. Like, it's not easier said than done. Cause that would be like, oh, try, but don't succeed. Like in a way it was like, try, but if you don't succeed, it's okay. More like try and, and until you succeed. Try until you don't get it wrong. You know what I mean? Like I saw this this thing. And so the difference between an amateur and a and then a professional. An amateur is trying to do it is, is try is an amateur is always doing it until they get it right. And a professional is always doing it until they cannot get it wrong. And if you change your mindset into like the professional it's like it is easy and it, you could do all these things and let's talk about the bad discipline uh negative discipline such as spanking hitting mother sarcasm verbal shaming and, uh, see i have this mindset right now but maybe when i have a kid it'll change um spanking i think you probably got to do a little spanking spanking see look it's, i feel like you gotta have, your kids have to have a little suffering have a little little trauma, a little bit, to have a little character, to have a, some type of, you know, uh, like, get a little strength in a way of, like, just spank your damn kids, damn. Spank them, look, spanking, hitting, two different things. So if you spank them, that's different than hitting. Uh, sarcasm, uh, f*** you. I gotta stop cussing. Uh, verbal shaming or degrading remarks. Uh, have uh, detrimental effects on children's emo emotional health and may result in children learning to hit or yell at other children or in them lying to avoid getting caught instead of learning to correct behavior. Okay, so so you're saying not to spank them if they're uh, doing something bad? So what do you do? No, you don't do that. I'm sorry, that sounds very white. That's it. That's all I'm saying. What is bad discipline? Let me see. Uh, because corporal punishment often happens in high, in moments of high stress, it increases the risk of injury to children. Okay, we don't care about children. What is this? I do have baby fever. I be getting baby fever way too much. Way too much. Damn, dude, I be hitting my shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, discipline for... Discipline... Uh, Damn, man, we need some grown up. We don't got to talk about these damn little kids, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is that? Absolutely crazy. Uh, Self-discipline. Oh, you know what? Self-discipline. You know, my, my eyes are talking about the wrong thing, man. Uh, Reading the... That's all, folks. Damn, dude. Uh, Self-discipline feels difficult, then you're doing it wrong. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever that guy means. Many quit self-discipline with living good moral life, which ends up creating a lot of shame when we fail. There's a better way to build lasting solid self-discipline in your life. Whoa. Okay, see? You fail. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, f you don't put shame on you when you fail. You're going to put, like, what, he, what Mike has said, like, what's bravery is, con is conquering your fears. So you always got to be scared. See this? No fear. That's fake. If you don't have fear, then you're just you're lying. You have to have fear to be brave, to be strong. And, you know, let me read this. Uh, when I was in college, there were some people on the internet who claimed that you could train yourself to sleep as little as two hours per day. Okay. You know what? You know what? I don't want to read that. <laughs> I can barely even read. Nine perfect ways. Self-discipline. See, let's talk about the nine perfect ways. Nine proper way, uh, chapter eight, uh, Bobby. Yo quiero, okay. Know your strengths and weaknesses. Self awareness, baby. Self awareness. Where we at? Where we at? Where? Boy, where you go? Oh, step one. We all have weaknesses, whether they're the desire for alcohol, tobacco, unhealthy food, obsession over social media, 
or the video game Fortnite. That is embarrassing. Fortnite. Um, <laughs> self awareness is, is awareness is powerful. Self awareness. Do you think? Remove temptations. I can't resist anything except temptation. Okay, like saying goes out of sight, out of mind. It may seem silly, but the fact. Oh my God! Remove temptation. You know what that means? <laughs> when the night's, when the moon's out, when it's night out, you know, the wolf come out. Ah, oh, temptation, you know what I'm saying? It's, it is hard. It's not hard. I do it because I, I, I can stop myself. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You know, when you're <laughs> rubbing the goose's neck, I don't do it as much, but I, then sometimes I get just like, it just gets to me. Anyways, like, it's not hard. Remove your temptations. Fight it off, man. Don't be doing it. It's not good for you. Step three, set clear goals and have an execution plan. Whoa. Okay, so goals, objectives, whichever. Um, little ones. I be do. I be writing my little ones, like the daily ones, write it down, just cross it off so I feel like I did an achievement. Do the long-term one, do short-term one, whichever, every daily one. Practice daily diligence. What is that? We weren't born with self-discipline. It's a learned behavior. We just have any okay. Uh, I don't even know what that means, but he's given an area associated with a goal. Okay, give yourself a goal every time, baby. Create new habits and rituals. Meditation. Oh, I remember when I started meditation. I went to. I started studying so much monk stuff, and that helped a lot. And I should go back into it. I should start meditating a lot more. Um, new habits. Um, I'm just just doing new things. To be honest, not being scared to do new things. Always always trying to learn. Call myself a student. You know what I'm saying? Change your perspective of willpower. Oh, I got to look at this later. You know what I'm saying? I get deep in this. It says find trusted coaches and mentor or mentors. Honestly, I think it's just the buddies, man. Honestly, I never never had anyone just like look up to in a way, in a way, in a way, in a way. Like I guess my sister, yes. My sister, yes, but in a male thing, not really. Like there's a couple, but like it's not like, oh, I look up to them like, you know, like that. It's more of like. This is the good they do, and this is the bad they do, and don't do this and don't do that, cause you know cause and effect and whatever. So I don't even know. That I don't know. I need that one, I guess. Forgive yourself and move forward. Forgive yourself, baby. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and just keep moving on. You know what I'm saying? Like I always said, don't text your ex. Text your ex. Don't matter. You gotta forgive yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't disrespect yourself. Love yourself. And you're human. You got to do your things. Um, you fail, you fail. What you do, you keep going until you succeed. Until you don't get it wrong. Duh. And yeah. Discipline. Easier than you think. You're just being a lazy butthead. Alright? Love y'all. Y'all stay safe. It's about to be Christmas, it's about to be New Year's, and it's about to be uh, Hanukkah. If you Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Christmas, we got New Year's. If you don't have anyone to kiss on Christmas or New Year's, kiss yourself. Do something. It don't matter. You don't need one. Or you do whichever. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, have a good one. Stay safe. Love y'all. Don't forget to say, don't forget to hug your parents, your, your sibling, whoever you have there, your dog. Hug yourself. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself. Touch yourself. Don't touch yourself. You gotta, what's it called? Fight the temptation. All right? And y'all have a good one. Thank you very much. Short and sweet. How's the story to say the name? Short and sweet. How's the story to say the name?